What is up guys, welcome back. It is Tuesday the 26th of September. I couldn't make it to uh, Swansea for the Watford game on the weekend, so I'm getting my football fix tonight. Um, a good mate of mine, Carl, said that he is going to Swindon tonight for uh, Swindon versus Coventry, League 2 game. So, why not? All right, let's take a drive over there then. So, um, it's probably hour and a half, two hours from where I live to get to Swindon. Um, I've got no kids with me today because it's school night, so Mini and Micro are at home, hopefully doing their homework. Um, Carl has already bought me the ticket, so I'm running well late though because it was like a last minute decision. Um, so I'm just hammering it up the M4, I think I'm on, uh, trying to get there on time. I think I've been to Swindon's ground before, but like always, I can't remember it. It was ages ago. Uh, so I'm going to check out some burgers, hopefully check out some good second division football. It's going to be a close one, I think. They're like maybe sixth and seventh in the league at the moment, like identical on uh, points, games won, drawn, lost. The only difference is that Swindon seem to be hemorrhaging goals at the moment. Their goal difference is like minus one. So I'm hoping it's going to be a win for Coventry tonight. Um, Coventry have... Um, Got good good support from from what I recall. Uh, saw them playing in the preseason friendly against Watford a couple of years ago, um, where they beat us. Uh, I, I like their kit, and I like Coventry. So why not go and support them? Uh, it should be should be a good game, hopefully. And Coventry have also got like a new, fairly exciting young player, um, Jody, Joby, Joey can't remember his name uh, but hopefully we're gonna see some action from him tonight so on to the game in the confidence. <laughs> Nils Swindon. 
not really well deserved I don't think. Coventry have definitely been the better team so far, but early yet. One kiosk to get food from at half time. That is disappointing. Anyway, one all. How are you feeling? <laughs> is that, you got that light wire. Slightly yeah. confident. It was a good first half. I think. I think we weren't bad at all. I think uh, we were better, better than, the, than the two sides. Like you know, we slightly shaded it, but definitely had more chances. A game of two halves and all that and all that. Two dodgy penalty shouts as well that you missed out on. Yeah, yeah, the refs, refs playing a blinder for them at the moment. What a chance to get food at half time, Swing. Uh, slim to none. <laughs> Second half's kicked off, still in the queue. Won't get on now. Typical, got my burger. I thought I'd just missed a goal, but I think something's been disallowed. That one's for you, Mini Muzzy, and Micro Muzzy. Is it tasty? It's all right. Opinion? It's all right. Yeah. Well, I like that. Swindon Burgers, A-OK. -okay. That was well worth the wait. Nice bun, look at the bun on that. Well, someone didn't like that decision. <laughs> oh, getting a little bit aggro now. 20 minutes of the game left, still one all. All the players are starting to get very tired now. Lots of sloppy passes and dodgy tackles, which is... Um, and that led to the result within the red card for Swansea player. And another dodgy tackle just there as well. Players and fans are getting a little card. bit leery now. <laughs> too much overtime and it's 3-1 to Coventry in terms of penalty decisions clear cut that haven't been given by the referee full time <laughs> Get in. Well played. what a game that was pretty intense <laughs> 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 then
What's up guys, so it's the morning after. Uh, it was too late for me to start recording by the time I got home last night. I'm wearing my Tennessee Titan shirt because it's the closest I've got to the sky blue of Coventry. Really good night, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was only like an hour and a half away from, from here to get to Swindon. The, the traffic around the, the stadium was perfect as well. I wasn't stuck in um, loads of traffic jams for ages. Um, both teams had fairly impressive spells considering it was a, a League Two game. Um, I think there was only maybe like 25 minutes during the second half where it felt like a, a League Two game. But other than that, the, the quality was very, very high. Um, I was impressed by both teams. Uh, referee didn't have a great game. There was definitely, without the benefit of, um, of replays, two penalties that, that I think Coventry should have had and certainly one that um, Swindon should have had as well um, and I think there was another one for Coventry that I missed because I was queuing up to get my burger still but uh, you know I wouldn't want to be a referee it's not an easy job the atmosphere was was good as well um, Coventry vans very loud traveling away uh, Swindon not so loud but there was quite a distance away from from their sort of main home end to where we were so potentially they were singing but i just couldn't hear it good banter between the uh, two sets of fans as well i saw no aggro whatsoever people getting a little bit irate but that's that's natural isn't it but didn't see any grief after the game which is nice security checks um getting into swindon's ground were impressive very very quick but got a pat down checked my bag and also got like a little label put onto my bag as well to say that it'd been checked if i take the label off they're going to search it again which is fair enough, but it didn't take very long at all. And, you know, considering it's only a small ground, uh, I, I liked that. The security check was good. Um, as was the hamburger, delightful. The bun was just incredible. Although it had been sort of sitting in the kiosk for a little while now. So uh, like the, the the meat inside was like a little bit, bit softer, but still um, <laughs> love that. Micro would have, would have been in his element um, eating there last night. The kiosk, not so good though. It was only one small kiosk and if all of the away fans wanted to go and get something to eat, like I, I went out fairly quickly after the um, half-time whistle and we were queuing up for a good sort of 15, maybe 20 minutes altogether. So I missed a little bit of the second half. Um, but you know, what can you expect for, a, for a, a smaller ground like that? Other than that, I feel sorry for Coventry with their, um, financial kind of legal problems going on at the moment i think they're going to struggle to keep hold of um some of the players that they've got some of the younger talent really really impressive they're definitely going to get snapped up by it by a bigger team soon which is unfortunate but at the moment coventry are sitting fourth in the league now swindon i think are going to be fine they're, they're down to 11th but fourth in the league for coventry with just that one loss so far and i think it's well deserved from what i saw last night very very impressive so um definitely if i can try and get to some more um coventry and swindon games if if possible obviously my main team is going to be watford but if i can't get to those games or if, if, if there's like a midweek game on that i'm interested in going to if i can take the kids i will do but um so if uh, you're new around here then please click on the subscribe button that'd be awesome and there'll definitely be some um some other uh maybe league two league one games coming up in the future but for now thank you very much to um to carl ball for uh for inviting me along last night um his twitter account i'll stick sort of on the screen somewhere oh, somewhere down here maybe um top boy top top boy so until then thank you very much for watching take care laters